Hi. Earlier this week, I was watching a video on YouTube on Arbor Noctua's channel, in which he was talking about uh, the Dust uh, war game. It's a 33mm scale weird World War II game where science fiction elements have been introduced into uh, uh, a modified World War II setting. And I rather like the look of some of the uh, German Walker models in that video, and I thought they would look pretty cool as a conversion to a uh, warmer 40,000 Sentinel. And with that in mind, I have created this. It is a slightly modified Sentinel, uh, with, it, with the modifications basically being it's got a, a double auto cannon. And you might notice that the auto cannons I have used on this are not actually the auto cannons that come in the Sentinel kit. Because this is the one from the kit, and you'll see it's far smaller. I have instead used um, the infantry heavy weapons team auto cannons. Uh, ironically, infantrymen having a larger cannon than uh, a vehicle. Uh, I used these because I actually wanted the barrels to stick out past the front of the vehicle. I did have some spares of the actual Sentinel auto cannon, so I could have used those if I'd wanted. Uh, I also thought the gun shields uh, on the infantry version uh, made it look better. And for the cannon on this side, you'll notice that I have had to swap the drum from the side it's normally at. If I pan over like that, you'll be able to see the drums are both on the outer edge, uh, and I thought that was going to be easier to do uh, with the infantry weapon than the sentinel weapon. So quite a few reasons to be using that one instead. The mounting of the gun is quite simply taken from the Imperial Guard tank accessory sprue. Uh, that's searchlight mount and what it fits into on the auto cannon itself is part of the actual searchlight. Now, you may, uh, well, you may notice uh, a flashlight down here, well, searchlight. This is the actual Sentinel kit searchlight. I was left with the problem of what to do with the actual weapon mounting hardpoint. At uh, first, I thought about mounting on the larger searchlight from uh, the tank accessory sprue, but that looked oversized. Um, I discussed it with a few other people at Games Workshop while I was putting this together, uh, and came up with the possibility of fitting the actual Sentinel missile launcher. But again, that stuck out a little bit too far, and it, it, it interfered with this cannon here. Uh, so I went back to the idea of the searchlight and instead used the smaller searchlight that comes in the Sentinel kit. Now you'll notice, of course, this is uh, an open-topped version of the Sentinel. So we've got the pilot in there. And you will see that his, he his head is not plastic. It's metal. Uh, that is because I want this to fit in with my World War II-inspired Imperial Guard Regiment, my 78th Praetorians. Um, somewhat uh, appropriate, I feel, given that this whole conversion has been inspired by a, a World War II sci-fi game. Uh, so I have taken a head from the West Wind Games 28mm scale, um, Secrets of the Third Reich. Uh, they also do Berlin or Bust on the same scale, and all of the heads are separate, so I've mail-ordered quite a number of British pattern helmeted heads, and I've added those to the infantry. Uh, so there we have the assembled walker. Although you may have noticed bits wobbling because I haven't glued everything yet because I need, uh, I want to paint it before finally gluing it. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, here's the uh, painted model done. Uh, and I've chosen a colour scheme that matches um, the idea of it being uh, World War II British inspired. Um, I use what was Catachan Green. I don't know what the uh, the new name of that colour is. Uh, and then I put a, a sepia 
wash over all of that and I think that gives me a nice sort of dull down green which matches the uh, the old British armoured vehicles. Um, I use a similar technique on the actual uniform of the crewman um, what, with what was Kenry Brown and again just coated in sepia. A uh, sepia wash over a lot of things seems to be uh, very nice. Um, now to actually field this in a game of 40k I could actually just use this as a sentinel and say ignore the other auto cannon uh, or I could have um, thinking of coming up with some rules referring to it as a, a gladiator walker instead of a sentinel and just giving it a twin linked weapon so it's slightly more expensive of course I need my opponent's permission for that uh, but uh, in the meantime it's really ready to take its place amongst some of the other models from my 78th Praetorian regiment uh, which have all appeared in, in previous videos uh, using again West Wind Games heads on the miniatures and uh, olive drab colour scheme for vehicles including some uh, scratch built heavier walkers which I, uh, I did a video on some time ago and that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out uh, Arbonocta's channel. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on there. Uh, it certainly inspired me. Thanks. Bye.